sensing LED tube, the driver is all down one end and it actually fits fits down the single ended driving and comes up to about here. You'll notice on the LED tube that there aren't the deep heat, heat sinks to give you the cooling, but you don't need it. The reason you don't need it is because most of the time this tube is running at 5 watts, not 20 watts, so that you'll find that the LED um, driver, which is now at the back of the LED chips, is still cool because most of the time the light is running at, at uh, reduced power, which is typically 5 watts, full power it's, it's at 20 watts. The LED uh, sensor has a typical range of around about 5 or 6 meters, so it won't activate until you're within that radius. So it's distance from the little sensing bulb that's important, so 5 or 6 meters from that bulb is the sensing distance which will trigger the turn on of the infrared LED tube to its full rating power which is typically 20 watts in the case of a 1200 millimeter tube and you have to wait about 10 seconds to turn on and then 10 seconds once you're, once you're outside that distance of about 5 or 6 meters. These particular tubes have been tested and certified by the New South Wales Department of Fair Trading to prove that they are safe in any installation. An LED tube will last you 40,000 hours. We're guaranteeing 40,000 hours. We're able to guarantee that light 40,000 hours because we know how the driver works, we know the chips that are used on the individual light, we know that the way that the light is manufactured. We actually go to the factory and make sure that it is made to our specification.